What's happening, beautiful people? Welcome back to Great for Panic Knife Reviews. I am so glad that you stopped by. And I hope at the end of the video, you are too. I'm um, going to do things a little bit differently today. Um, well, first of all, we're going to do a three-way cheers shout-out extravaganza. And second of all, I'm going to do that at the beginning instead of after the carry. Just so it's fresh on my mind and I won't forget. Um, first, I want to uh, give a huge shout-out to our brother Jason, uh, Nebby Cloud. He is our brother from the West. I think that's West. He's, he's our brother from the West. Um, and if you watched the last video, uh, the the uh, Savivi uh, Keen Natter, you probably noticed a new intro, and you probably also noticed Dumbass Me didn't say anything about it because my brain was... Poof. But uh, Jason did that intro, and it's awesome. It's freaking awesome. So, um, if you're not already subscribed to Jason, do you even YouTube, bro? Like, what are you doing? Press pause right there. Press pause or pause it. You write in the pause and go subscribe to his channel, watch a video, like it, leave a comment. Then you can come back. Matter of fact, you know what? Watch his whole catalog and then come back or just watch his whole catalog and then take a nap because, um, that's going to be several hours of binging some YouTube, but seriously go over there, subscribe to his channel because he deserves our support big time because he has an awesome way of presenting his content that is not, it's, this is, um, coloring with crayons and not staying inside the lines. And what he does is like masterpiece oil painting, um, with, electric brushes and it, it's badass anyway go go do that um second is i'm and i don't i don't know if his first name is out there so i'm just gonna say goondocks brother goondocks uh he is now one of our fellow um uh merry band of pranksters in the bpex uh pass around group and he's a real cool guy and he deserves your support too, so get on over there and subscribe to him. And he is our brother from the further west and further and north. And then, um, last but not least, is uh, brother um, Jim Shepard. Uh, he's a big time supporter of the community. Uh, he's a great friend of the channel, and he's our brother from the north. And these Canucks are taking the Knife and EDC uh, YouTube world by storm. Like, they roll deep. So, you got to mind your uh, P's and Q's out there. Be on your best behavior. Because if you cross them, they are going to whap you with a moose antler. That That's where I got that. And, no, that I didn't. A Canadian did not whap me in the face with a moose antler. So, don't go out there starting no daggum World War III. Hey, hit grateful panic in the face with a moose horn. And hold my bear. I'm going to go get them. Don't do that. Do not do that. Uh, just just chill. Everything's cool. Um, sit down, Cletus. We, um, no, we're all friends here. We're all family. And uh, we love to pick and, and poke and prod and, and play jokes. And, uh, but, so, Jason, Goondocks, and Jim Shepard, cheers to all you brothers. Alrighty, now I'm going to forget to do the carry. Uh, today, I was carrying the uh, James Rand Carter, and you can see that's obviously a user. That thing sees a lot of action. And on top of the fact that I bought it used, so it was already a little bit scuffed up. Um, but it's a it's a good knife. Um, uh, and I also had the Monterey Bay Knives slayback and then i carried the fisher space pen brass bullet and woodland camo uh victorinox tinker in a holiday leatherworks organizer uh the flashlight eagle tack d25c and titanium and the hank lone star uh hanks uh space your face hank um that's gonna about do it. oh and i didn't mean forgot completely forgot to tell you that uh the knife we're going to be reviewing today is the best tech swift so 
if you already know everything about it, then your work here is done. You go on about your day. And, uh, well, depending on when you watch this, I uh, should have it uploaded today. So, happy Easter, guys. I hope you uh, have a great day with your family and friends and fellowship and just have an awesome, awesome day. Because uh, you're my uggamuggas. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive on down and get up close and personal with this Best Tech Swift. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to be doing a quick review of the Best Tech Swift. So if you guys can um, cease and desist with the tomfoolery and just be serious for one minute, uh, we'll try and get through this. Uh, so, what we're looking at is an overall length of 8.39 inches. We got a closed length or handle length of 4.84 inches. And we have a blade length of 3.54 inches. And then we have a blade stock thickness of uh, 150 thousandths. Wonderful D2 uh, blade steel in a satin finish. Handle wise, we're looking at some that this is black uh, micarta, and you've got the you know your typical Best Tech uh, little pivot doodad right there. Another micarta back spacer. Uh, we got some nice stainless steel liners here. It is a liner lock. Let's go take a look at this lock up and uh, another one. This is right around 25%. It's a lot like the last two knives we've reviewed. Uh, it's fully open construction. You've got some weight reduction milled in that liner and that liner as well. So, and it is uh, a fairly, it's, it's not a super heavy knife. We do have old Cletus here saying hello. And we're gonna see how much he weighs. Uh, 4.26 ounces. All right, 120.8 grams. We got a deep carry pocket clip, and it is not uh, left hand, right hand. It is just right hand. This is something I do not understand at all. I'm gonna want a little bit wider platform there to put my thumb on because that kind of it kind of cuts in. I mean, it's not you're not gonna you know cut your finger off or anything, but it just kind of kind of digs in when you when you push on it. And, this to me, this isn't quite on par with the uh, the micarta that was on the King Natter. It's it's a little, I mean, nowhere near the old Civivi micarta, but it's a, it's a tiny bit more plasticky. But I mean, it's still good. Uh, it's good quality micarta, and these uh, the lines they have milled right there give it, you know, a pretty good little grip. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And one thing that I am impressed with is the action on this guy. That is slick, man. And I never get tired of seeing that. Oh, I mean, it's like a, uh, it's like a fluid, hydraulic, smooth bit of awesomeness. And that, I mean, it's definitely this is. I could sit here and do this all day. This is. I mean, you don't have. You've only got the one method of deployment, but it's still just the smoothness of that action. It definitely makes it a very fidgetable knife. And for these are going for sixty three dollars everywhere I looked, and they're in stock everywhere. And I saw the black; they had a beige, uh, and there was one website. I don't know if it was a, a exclusive model for them. They had it; it was a kind of a light green uh, micarta. I mean, and, and all in all, it's a it's a good looking knife. You know, it, whether it's my favorite blade shape or not, you. I mean, I got to admit, it's it's attractive. They did a good job with with the. Uh, all the curves and swoops and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. Um, conclusion, it is, I mean, it's a decent knife. It's its not my jam as far as the, the style of it goes. Um, I'm a little confused at what they did on the spine of it. Um, I think material-wise and uh, the quality of the build, it is definitely worth the $63 they're asking for it. It's just a matter of, um, is this your gig or not i mean do you like it if you like the way it looks go for it buy it i support you all day long i highly recommend it it definitely gets 
the Grateful Panic Seal of Approval of one and three quarters thumbs up. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's all I got to say about it. And uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And you are more than welcome to come back anytime. And until next time, why don't you go out there, EDC your ass off, and do something nice for somebody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.